Good day, beloved of Christ. Welcome to prayer on the 7th of January, Friday. As is our custom, let's begin with a moment's quiet and the penitential rite. The sacrifice of God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. Let us confess our sins against God, our neighbor, creation, and our own selves. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. To us a child is born, O come, let us worship. O God, make speed to save us together, O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Beautiful Psalm 103 is appointed for the day. I love how the psalmist instructs his own soul to bless God. And we need to do that sometimes, just kind of talk to ourselves and say, give thanks to the Lord, for God is good, God's mercy endures forever. When we praise God for God's promises, faithfulness, and blessings, we are blessing the Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless God's holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all the benefits of the Lord. The Lord forgives all your sins and heals all your infirmities, redeeming your life from the grave and crowning you with mercy and loving kindness satisfying you with good things and renewing your youth like an eagle's. The Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all who are oppressed. O Lord, you made your ways known to Moses and your works to the children of Israel. You are full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger and of great kindness. You will not always accuse us, nor will you keep your anger forever. You have not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our wickedness. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so is your mercy great upon those who fear you. As far as the east is from the west, so far have you removed our sins from us. As parents care for their children, so do you, O Lord, care for those who fear you. For you yourself know whereof we are made. You remember that we are but dust. Our days are like the grass. We flourish like a flower of the field. When the wind goes over it, it is gone, and its place shall know it no more. But your merciful goodness endures forever on those who fear you, and your righteousness on children's children, on those who keep the covenant and remember the commandments and do them. The Lord is enthroned in heaven and has dominion over all. Bless the Lord, you angels, you mighty ones who do the bidding of God, and hearken to the voice of the word of the Lord. Bless the Lord, all you hosts, you ministers who do the will of God. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord, in all places of the dominion of the Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Let us pray. God of infinite mercy and forgiveness, by the cross and resurrection of Jesus your Son, wash away our sins and deliver us from our infirmities of body and spirit, that we may live with him his risen life, to the praise and glory of your holy name. Amen. Together, glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our New Testament reading is taken from Paul's letter to the Colossians, chapter 1, verses 1 through 14. So the letter begins, as any letter would, with salutations, and then jumps to the task at hand. I'm reading from Eugene Peterson's dynamic translation, the message in very contemporary language. Listen for what the word of the Spirit is to you and to the church 
in this reading. I, Paul, have been sent on special assignment by Christ as part of God's master plan. Together with my friend Timothy, I greet the Christians and stalwart followers of Christ who live in Coloss. May everything good from God our Father be yours. Our prayers for you are always spilling over into thanksgivings. We can't quit thanking God our Father and Jesus our Messiah for you. We keep getting reports on your steady faith in Christ, our Jesus, and the love you continuously extend to all Christians. The lines of purpose in your lives never grow slack, tightly tied as they are to your future in heaven, kept taut by hope. The message is as true among you today as when you first heard it. It doesn't diminish or weaken over time. It's the same all over the world. The message bears fruit and gets larger and stronger, just as it has in you. From the very first day you heard and recognized the truth of what God is doing, you've been hungry for more. It's as vigorous in you now as when you learned it from our friend and close associate, Epaphras. He's one reliable worker for Christ. I could always depend on him. He's the one who told us how thoroughly love had been worked into your lives by the Spirit. Be assured that from the first day we heard of you, we haven't stopped praying for you, asking God to give you wise minds and spirits attuned to God's will, and so acquire a thorough understanding of the ways in which God works. We pray that you'll live well for the Master, making him proud of you as you work hard in his orchard. As you learn more and more how God works, you will learn how to do your work. We pray that you'll have the strength to stick it out over the long haul. Not the grim strength of gritting your teeth, but the glory strength God gives. It is strength that endures the unendurable and spills over into joy, thanking the Father who makes us strong enough to take part in everything bright and beautiful that he has for us. God rescued us from dead-end alleys and dark dungeons. He set us up in the kingdom of the Son he loved so much, the Son who got us out of the pit we were in, got rid of the sins we were doomed to keep repeating. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I very much echo these prayers of Paul for the Colossians, for we too are in need of endurance Enduring through these difficult pandemic days, hear again this prayer. We'll pray that you'll have the strength to stick it out over the long haul, not the grim strength of gritting your teeth, but the glory strength God gives. It is strength that endures the unendurable and spills over into joy thanking the Father who makes us strong enough to take part in everything bright and beautiful that he has for us. Friends, the Lord still has brightness and beauty available to us day by day. Let us just count our blessings and in so doing find strength that spills over into joy as we endure the trials of this pandemic time. May the Holy Spirit rescue us from discouragement and fill us with all joy and peace in believing. Amen. Let us pray. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Please respond to the bidding, Lord, with, Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, we pray to you, Lord, Lord, have have mercy. For those who are weary, sleepless, and depressed, for those who are feeling isolated and alone, we pray to you, Lord, Lord, have mercy. For those who are hungry and sick, especially this day, remembering Richard, Ricardo, Rose, Audrey, Joan, Berna, Laura, and I encourage you to pause the recording and to pray for those who are on your hearts. And Lord, too, we pray for those who are frightened in these pandemic days. For them, we pray to you, Lord, Lord, have mercy. For rest and refreshment on a daily basis and discernment to know and to carry out God's will, we pray to you, Lord, 
Lord, have mercy. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us resting, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Amen. Gathering our prayers, we pray as Jesus taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Beloved, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. And now the peace of God, which passes understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of the Creator, the Redeemer, and the Sanctifier enfold you in love this day and forevermore. Amen. Have a blessed day today, Friday, TGIF.